It's always been a tournament that I've had a real passion for. I felt as though I could do quite well in with my upbringing in the wind in, in Aberdeen. If you're a British golfer, then the Open is the one that you want to win. First and foremost, I was chuffed a bit to, to get in the field. I always wanted to play in an Open at, at Carnoustie. I qualified at Downfield uh, over the Sunday and the Monday. I only live just over an hour in Aberdeen, so the chance to play in an Open and, and stay at home, it ended up being absolutely perfect. It's quite a pleasant drive down. I've always felt that the course has stood the test of time. When Gary Player won, it was 7,200 yards, you know, that year, which was 1968. And they're only at 7,400 yards now. You know, in, in 99, I was 13th after three rounds, and okay, I was 10 shots back, but, you know, you're still having a really good week. Now, Paul Laurie, he's putted beautifully for the last three days. Yeah! Well, here's a man that's very much on top of his game. You know, I hold two or three good 20, 25 footers. When you've got the feel, you know, of the greens and, and you've kind of hold a couple, obviously the confidence grows, uh, it goes through your whole game. The cameras and the crowd appeared about the 12th, so I knew from then that I had a little bit of a chance. I hit it in the front bunker on the 72nd hole, so the pin was well up the green, it was about up here somewhere. Quite a long, difficult bunker shot. Even then, I didn't think I had a chance. In the end, you know, it was good enough to get in the playoff. I was extremely calm. I was um, unbelievably focused. Justin Leonard probably had more expectation and pressure on him because he'd won it two years before. And then Jean eventually arrived, uh, joking with the crowd, and, you know, I kind of felt straight away that he was trying to hide, you know, the nerves that he'd had. And I, and I felt, and I've said it before, I felt straight away uh, that I was going to win the Open. Paul, hey. Sandy Reid, Link, Link Superintendent right? here Thanks, at Connecticut. Hey, Paul, I'm Craig. Craig, you right? uh, Head Greenkeeper. Oh, lovely. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you, yeah. Looks a little different than it did in 99, to be fair. There's not so much rough this time, <laughs> which is nice. You had a great round of golf that day, though. You know, I think people maybe forget that you shot 67 equal low round of the, the week. Yeah. I, had a, I had a friend that followed you around that day, right. and I remember speaking to him a couple of days afterwards, and the words he said to me was, it was the worst you could have possibly shot that day. All oh, right, yeah, I yeah, played, I played nice. said you played well. Plenty of guys get their opportunity to win a major. You've got to take your opportunity and play the golf that needs to be played at that time. I remember the crowd, you know, when your, your final shot came into the green, you know, the crowd was electric. We were just sitting behind us, below the stand there, you know, and we couldn't actually see in the playoff. All right. we could here, here was a bit of uh, silence and then a murmur, murmur, and you know, when that ball hit the green there, that, I've never had a roar like that in my life. Pretty cool, you know, you, you think back and how many people still kind of say, oh, I was there, and you know, we missed our train, but we waited for the playoff to finish, and man, it's just, it's just awesome. I think it's impossible to describe, to be honest, I've tried a few times, I meet people every day who still just want to shake your hand because you're an Open champion, you know, I just want to shake the hand of an Open winner, you know, and it's the coolest thing that, that ever uh, to win an event like that. And uh, I think a lot of people shared in it, which is really nice. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.